We saw previously that we can create pull request to merge branches and just to have one project that includes every changes that we got on different branches. Basically, here I'm going to show you how to merge branches locally, okay? Because you can also merge branches locally. So here I'm going to just git checkout and I'm going to come back to little feature that we got here. And here little feature is actually probably on the same status from uh, the origin. So origin, it's actually this branch here on my GitHub repository. Okay, so origin slash little feature is up to date. Amazing. Now I'm going to create a new file called test.txt. And I'm going to type here in text.txt, this is a test file. So now I want to keep that on little feature. So what I want to do is to type git add, then git commit minus m. And here I'm going to add, add text.txt. And there we go. So now if I git checkout main, test.txt disappeared. And I can see here that it doesn't exist. So what I would like to do is to merge little feature into main. So I'm going to switch again, okay, to little feature. And now that I'm back on little feature, the question is, can I merge little feature into main? The answer is yes. And there are several ways to do it. I'm going to show you one, the most obvious. I'm going to get back to main, <laughs> simply. And I know that on little feature, I got this text.txt. So I'm going to come back, there we go. And what I can do here is to type git merged and I can use little branches, little feature, sorry. And if I type enter, here we can see that I got a whole message and it's written, please enter a commit message to explain why this merge is necessary, especially if it merge an updated upstream into a topic branch. Line starting with ash will be ignored and an empty message about the commit. Okay, type the keycap I, and then I can write the message that I want. So here I'm letting just this message here. Okay, and what I'm gonna do now is to type on escape, then semicolons and WQ, and there we go. We merge actually little feature into main directly locally on my branch. So what I can do now is actually to create a pull request. However, I'm the owner of the repository. So the main problem when you are the owner of the repository is that you can push directly to production. So let me show you. I don't need here to create a pull request. I'm going to type git add, git commit here, and I'm going to put added text.txt. There we go. And suddenly we see this message, your branch is ahead of origin main by two commit, which means that comparing to the main branch, to the origin main, I got two commits in advance. So here, when I'm going to type git push, you're gonna look at this, it's going to add my file, um, my file key, which is actually test.txt, directly to the production. And when I come back and I update my repository, there we go, we see that there is text.txt, but without creating any pull request. And this kind of action, guys, is really dangerous. If you have this kind of rights, never do this. Never push to the main branch by default. Of course, I'm saying that to people that are not working alone, that are working in a team. People that are solopreneurs, they can push directly to the repository. They are not obliged all the time to have pull requests. They can merge locally and then push to uh, the main branch. However, when you work in a team, you shouldn't be able actually to push directly to a repository because otherwise you're going to push a lot of things without having pull requests and code reviews. GitHub has been created to allow code reviews, to allow collaboration between developers in order to make the best work as possible on a project.